So, hi guys. So, I just random thought this evening, and it's basically I had the A7R3, which we're looking at at the moment, and I was doing a, uh, a friend's 30th birthday party the other week, and I got 1,845 shots, I think, or thereabouts, from one battery. I was shooting sort of in a burst scenario a lot because of the... Um, the sort of disco nightclub-y lights that were flashing around and you know, doing stuff like that and the lasers and things. Um, so I was trying to get the shots without using flash as much as possible. Um, kind of more of a natural feel so you could kind of really put yourself back into the party when you look at the photos. Um, I did use a flash a bit, generally for the sort of group photos where people were grabbing together. Just a little tiny little bit of filling. Um, but I'd had the thought. I thought, well... I got down to 1% on the battery and I thought it's time to turn it off and change batteries. Just on the precautionary side, obviously it's going to run out. So then I carried on and I ended up shooting 2,400 shots. Um, on that first battery though, I did record, I'd say, around about half an hour's worth of 4K video as well. So the battery is extremely impressive. So in the real world, yes, you probably get the 700 shots it says. But if you're doing lots of burst shots, I mean, I'm probably doing five, six shots at a time. Boo, doo, doo, you know. Um, and and then stopping, starting. I turned the camera off a few times just to have a bit of a break, um, but actually it was on for about five hours probably in total, um, say with half an hour of, of off time. Um, so at the moment I'm just basically got the camera just recording those daffodils that you can see sort of just off shot, um, just in 4K. So at the moment the battery is at 59%, so it could be recording for quite a while or a couple of, a couple of hours. Um, but what I want to do is bring it down to uh, the 1% again and then find out exactly what happens because I've never experienced this find out exactly what happens when the battery runs out imagine you've just taken for example the 76 shots the A7R3 can do in a burst so if the buffer's full and your battery just goes nope, finished do those photos stay in the buffer until you put a new battery in? And then obviously when you put a new battery in, do they copy to the card and carry on? Or have you just lost those photos? So I thought I'll do a proper test and just try it out and see what happens. So at the moment, obviously the camera's just recording some daffodils. Um, and uh, I'm just going to keep it recording so it gets back down to 1%. Um, and then we'll try it out and see what happens. So I'll be back. So I'm going to cut this now, and then when this is actually finished doing what it's going to do, it's going to be a little while by the looks of it. Um, the fact it's, used 10, it's done 10 minutes, it's only used 5% of the battery power. Um, and then uh, I shall turn it back on, and uh, I shall video myself shooting as many frames as possible until the battery runs out, and uh, we shall see if the... Uh, See what happens because I don't know. I don't. I've never seen anybody else try this. I don't know if anybody else has done this. Um, and uh, we shall see what actually happens. So, is it really precautionary to actually change your battery, maybe five percent before it runs out? I mean, I took it to one percent, but I hadn't actually been taking any shots for a minute or two. I was just wandering around. And uh, you know, so if you're at a wedding, for example, we're doing you know a photo shoot. Yes, you could have the um, the uh, vertical grip plugged in, and it will have the second battery in it and you can obviously it will swap automatically onto the second battery uh, but and obviously there's USB power power up so you can power it up with the USB so there are other options around around this but I thought as having one battery in what actually happens so um, anyway I'll be back as soon as this gets down to a couple of percent and uh, I shall start recording back then but um, that's the plan anyway and uh, I'll see you soon Hi guys, um, so quickly, briefly as well, I thought while I'm on, while I've got it on here, the camera is now recording at, it's 28 minutes and 47, 48, 49 seconds. It's now at 47%. But I thought while I'm videoing 4K, and I'm just going to leave the camera running when it stops in a minute, it should stop at 20, uh, 29, 59 I think. <clears throat> Depends a bit, I don't know, if it, I think it should stop for obviously the, legal reasons of it not being a video camera so it should be interesting to see if it gets an overheating warning after how many times I need to record at 4k 
um, just out of interest to try and get the battery down. So we shall see what happens in a second. Bit clearer, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> so we're at twenty nine thirty nine. This is the first first run up of half an hour, sort of thing. There you go. <clears throat> so that's just stopped. So straight away, back on again. It's now recording again, and uh, I'll be back in half an hour. So I'm going to try and do this. You know, as many times as I need to get the battery down so we can get the, the test on the go. But I thought it's a good overheating test, see, we'll see what actually happens as well. So, uh, back shortly. Right, so we're coming up to 26 minutes, 23 seconds. And we now have 8% left on the battery, and uh, it wasn't fully charged. Um, and that would have done an hour and a half, basically, of 4K video um, at 100 megabits per second. Um, so, <laughs> quite a good battery range, really. Um, just so anybody who has never, you know, always, or if you ever wondered how much. How much it will go for just on just on video? Um, like I said, I got up one thousand eight hundred and something shots, um, and some four K video clips with one percent left on the battery. Um, a couple of a couple of Saturdays ago, and I'm just curious now to see what actually happens um, once the battery runs out. So, what I'm going to try and do is keep the buffer full up. Um, whilst recording on, on the RX10 Mark IV, uh, so you can see exactly what's happening. I've got another battery set, sat nearby, ready to go with some charge in it. Um, and uh, we're just going to watch the thing turn off. But I'm just going to run this to another 29 minutes. It's mildly warm, I mean it's not even trying. Like I say, it's 22 degrees Celsius in here at the moment. And uh, yeah, so it's looking all right. So I would say, well and truly, the overheating issue with the Sony's now is completely non-existent. We're down to 7% now on the battery. And uh, so we're just going to, another minute left. Um, and uh, we're going to see what's... Uh, What's what? So I've just got to now try and get the battery down to 1% and then just fire the camera off and see what happens. You know, will it hold the photos in its memory even with no power? Or will we lose the photos? That's that's one of the, the things there. So imagine you're doing a wedding, you're completely concentrating on the situation. You've only got one battery or even if you had a, a second battery in the uh, the vertical grip and they're both almost exhausted, but you haven't noticed that the battery's about to run out, you know, in a minute or two. You know, what, what's going to happen? So that should be the, you know, this will be the interesting test. So we're at 29 minutes, 5 seconds, so this should stop shortly. And uh, that's an hour and a half, basically, of video. Uh, quite happily. Non-stop as well. Uh, just start, stop, start. Every time it stops automatically at 29 minutes, um, I think it's 50 seconds. And uh, they were down to 6% now. And uh, we'll go from there. So apparently I've still got 46 minutes left on my 128 gig card of uh, video. So there we go, so it should shut off. I think it's 29 minutes, 50 seconds. There we go. Yeah, there you go. So that's now stopped. I'm just going to push go again. Just keep going to try and bring down the, uh, the time slightly. As you can see, it's still going. This is the quickest way of burning power. Uh, well, without me touching it anyway. Um, so 
six percent. I don't think we're going to get much longer out of this. So, okay, so we're five percent now. So we're looking at yeah, not a lot. So I think I'm going to take it to around about two percent. Stop the video, and then I should just start bur like bursting and uh, keeping the buffer as full as I can until the battery just literally stops. And the camera turns off. So it could be an interesting few minutes. So basically it's done an hour and a half now at full, full blast. I mean, even behind the screen, it's just about warm. I mean, you know, it's about as warm as my hand. Four percent. So it's using a one percent roughly per, uh, per minute approximately on 4k. I imagine it uses less using HD because it's using a lot less pixels. Um, the bit rate's a lot less so the computing power is not needed and this, this, that and the other. So this could be interesting. So another minute or two hopefully and uh, we'll be there. Right, what I'm going to do now is stop the camera. I'm going to format it because I don't need the video at all. So we format the card. And then I can see how many shots it's actually managed to save to the, um, to the card. And we know roughly, well, in theory, what it's done. So, right, we're formatted. So we are now down to uh, 3% and uh, I'm just going to carry on the video a bit until we get to 2% then. And I'll see how long this goes for. So as soon as it hits 2% I'm just going to start bursting and keep that buffer full until it turns off. This could be interesting. So we'll actually be able to see how far we can push that 1 or 2% and has Sony left in there that one percent as a little bit of leeway. It's almost like driving a car, you know, when you're down to the reserve, how much many mile how many miles have you got left in the tank? Um, do they give you that little bit extra? So this should be interesting. So I'm just leaving this running so we can see it's a you know, I'm not, not messing around with a test or anything like that. Obviously, the, the other video bits that I've done, a half an hour here and half an hour there between clips, um, I don't expect anybody to sit there for an hour and a half watching nothing. Uh, pretty boring. So, I think what we'll do is we're, okay, we're 2%. So, it's another minute of video. And then we shall get it down to 1%. So, we'll run it from 1%, we'll just burst and see how many shots we can. Can do it and see if it gets any on the card because a card's freshly formatted apart from this video we just started from there so we shall see so about 20 or 30 seconds away from dropping to one percent 
So I was about half an hour away from finishing the party and I got down to 1% and I thought, well, I can't risk it anymore. That's swap batteries. So I stopped at 1%. So it never actually ran out. Um, so this is just going to be the sort of interesting test, really. It's not scientific because this may be slightly different to your conditions. So if you're shooting in somewhere that's really cold, like Russia, for example, when, you know, in the winter, um, compared to the summer in um, California, somewhere in America, somewhere hot, um, the battery life is going to be slightly different, slightly better in a warmer, warmer climate. So, um, right, so this is going to go one percent very soon. Uh, do, 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 see me there. So, see how much leeway we've got. There we go. So one percent. So I'll stop the stop the video. We're now on high burst. So basically, I've got two thousand nine hundred eighteen shots left, and we are going to burst. I'm not going to fill the buffer up, I'm just going to let it do those shots and then just fire it again for a bit. Not going to fill it completely. I'll keep it relatively full so we know there's some, some in that buffer. There we go. Oh no, that's just me. <laughs> False alarm. So. Still at one percent. So no, the buffer is now full. I'm not using the fastest card out there, I'm using the Sony, oh, and we're saying exhausted battery now. So let's just give this another blast. So it's interesting to see what the burst rate you can do for 1% and how much How much now. So we're now to an exhausted battery. So let's, let's keep this up on the... So we should have, in theory, approximately 50 to 60 shots in the buffer when, when the battery runs out. So what's going to happen? How far will I go? Well, even with an exhausted battery, apparently, you can still keep going for quite a bit. So it's still showing an exhausted battery there. I'm just keeping the buffer full. Still got 47, 46, 45. 44, 42, 41. So I've got it at 10 frames a second. It's got lots of pictures of daffodils, that's for sure. It's still going. So that's a good thing. So apparently now we know. So I didn't really have to worry about getting to 1%. So, you know, you know you've got a little bit of leeway here. And it's still going. So that battery is a really, really good battery. Um, I mean, I must have taken a couple of hundred shots here. Um, I hope it's going to stop soon. Who knows? Trying to keep sort of 50 shots in, in the buff at all times.
continue. See if that can go back a bit more. It's crazy, it's like the never ending battery. How long will the battery go for? This is a Sony original um, original battery that came with the A7R3, which is the same as the A9, and the A7 III, the new camera that's coming out. Um, so I'd imagine on the A7 III and the A9, the battery should last a little bit longer, but um, you know, this thing's you know, done an hour and a half of video and probably about a thousand shots by the looks of it on burst. So, something like that, we'll soon find out, I'll have a look. It's still going. Never ending camera. So it's an interesting sort of feel that you know you can go down to zero. So you know you can now go down to that, which means there's no battery power left in it. But apparently there is. So they've obviously given a little bit of leeway in there. But it's still going. It's still going. So I'm hoping it's going to shut off soon in some respects. But if it keeps going and keeps going and keeps going for a good few minutes, it shows you how good the battery is. It also shows you how good the cameras are now. They're actually using a lot less power than they would have been before. So obviously using a lot less voltage. Or amperage, depending on how you look at it. Um, Still going. It's starting to feel a bit warmer than it did, um, but not hugely. Um, it still feels like a warm hand. It's not overheating at all, but no overheating signs. Stabilization is turned on. Continuous focus is now turned on. I did a manual focus just so it stopped it hunting, especially in the dark. Um, I didn't have the light on, but um, yeah, it's a good few hundred shots on zero power by the looks of it. I shall find the exact number out near the time. runs out before we get to the 29 minute marker on the RX-10. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Maybe they put like a tiny little nuclear um, reactor in there or something. Sony cameras powered by magic. So seventy one shots on the buffer, does it every single time. That's in more. Um still opening up and it's still saving so just trying to keep it relatively full buffered so that's what I want to know is if the battery does run out not that you're likely to run it out now by the looks of it <laughs> so they have put a serious serious bit of leeway in here with um, you know it running out of battery power and allowing you to keep on working uh, for quite a bit actually Like I say, and imagine with the new A7 III, the battery will last even longer because uh, it's got 
a lot of, you know, the sensor, the new sensor is going to be using less power, less megapixels, less processing power needed. And, uh, yeah, so it's not going to get anywhere, you know, it's not going to need anywhere near as much power as this does. This is still very impressive. So, I can't believe it's still going, to be honest. I'll just stop starting that just in case I have to go actually past the oh here. Start so okay, so battery exhausted. It's actually got a safety device in it by the looks of it, because look, it's still actually recording. So they have thought about this. So that in theory, that is now still copying off the buffer. You can see the light there. It's still recording. So basically they have allowed obviously a certain amount of power for it to carry on recording. Right, so that's stopped. So I don't know if there's any left on there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the battery out. Which by the way is warm, it's not hot. Mix battery in. It's working back up and 2030 shots. So on that 1% that we have left, it's done 906 photos. <laughs> so 1% of battery apparently, it's done 906 photos. So yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, there you go. So yeah, so that is the answer. That is it basically, um, has some kind of um, power reserve that it knows it must be able to clear that buffer before it turns off so you don't lose any photos. So that is, they thought of that, so that's really good. So that was one of the things I just thought of randomly to, today. So um, I hope that kind of puts some people at rest and we know the battery is going to last a lot longer than you think. Um, that's ridiculous. So anyway, guys, um, please subscribe. And um, please share the videos and everything, especially if you're into the Sony stuff. Um, this is obviously going to be the same battery now for the A9, the A7R 3 and the A7 III that's coming out very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, so see you soon.